everybody, it's Anya, the adult doll and toy collector. Welcome back to the small plastic world. So you may be wondering what this gorgeous Arctic Barbie doll is doing here. If you recall, we deboxed her at the end of January. And at the time I mentioned that the only thing I didn't love about her were the bare hands that Mattel left her with, since that is not a good thing to have in an Arctic climate. So today I thought it would be cool to make her some kind of gloves or mittens. And I thought we could try using this felt that I have. I've got this sort of light brown felt, which is probably the most realistic. And it's lighter than her clothing, although it's roughly the same color as the boots. But I don't know, since we're just doing this off the cuff anyway, it's also a little bit boring. So looking at this pretty trim on the bottom of her parka, it's got all these colors in it. It has pink, red, two different shades of green, and of course gold. I thought it might be nice to make some gloves out of a different color, and I settled on either green or red. And I think I'm leaning towards this green color. So before I get started, I need to mention that I have no idea what I'm doing, as usual. You all know that. I just like to do things to see if I can do them. So this isn't really any kind of tutorial, but of course, if you would like to follow it and try it out, please do and let me know either in the comments or link to a video if you make one, because I would love to see the results. I am just making this up as I go. I don't have experience doing this. I have never made any kind of doll gloves or mittens or anything before. So we're just gonna try this out and see what happens. So the first thing we're gonna do is trace around Arctic Barbie's hand. And I'm just gonna trace it on a piece of scratch paper, then I'll be right back. Here is the tracing. You can see the fingers here. I'm calling them gloves because this is how they make Barbie gloves, but partially because of how tiny Barbie hands are and partially because the hands, particularly of this era, did not have separated fingers, except for the thumb, of course. You really can't make gloves at all, and they're basically mittens, so maybe we should just call them mittens. So I'm gonna trace a little bit around this to make kind of a seam allowance, so when we sew, we can just sew toward the edge. So this is our seam allowance. It's gonna be tricky cutting in this thumb. I don't know how that's gonna work. This might not work at all, but you know what? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. So we're gonna try it out. So I'm gonna cut this out and then I'm going to cut two pieces of this from my green felt here. I cut it out and I cut it so that there'd be a, a separated thumb. So let's see how we can manage that with the felt. Okay, these are tiny and they're making me think of the Grinch. Is it just me? So now what I'm gonna do is take a needle and thread and I'm going to put these together like this and I'm just gonna sew around all the edges and I'll be right back. So normally if I were sewing this with a thin fabric, like a regular, you know, Barbie glove, mitten, whatever. I would sew it like this and then I would flip it around to hide the stitching. But it occurred to me while I was sewing this that there's no way I'm going to be able to flip this felt. Instead, I just tried to make my stitches halfway as decent looking. Not easy. I don't like to take my time on these things. And I did use this sort of hot pink thread that I have laying around. Public service announcement, don't use cheap thread. It's never worth it. Even if the colors are cool, you're always better off just paying a little extra for say white or something that you can use on everything. This stuff worked okay for this, but I've been using it just to use it up on some of these projects that I've been doing and it just kind of knots on itself a lot and it's just not great to work with, so just don't bother. But anyway, for this it's okay. And I thought pink would be all right because as we noticed, she has pink on the trim on her outfit. So if it's visible, it's not too horrid. So let's try it on the doll and see how it looks. And if it looks okay, we'll make the other one. Epic fail. I didn't make the opening this part wide enough so I can't get it on the doll because it's felt so it doesn't want to stretch to fit her doll hand. So there's no way to even get her hand in there, but hey, we gave it a whirl. Instead of giving up, I'm just going to make this 
much wider and we'll go from there. Okay, so I used this original pattern, which is we now know is way too narrow where the wrist would be. I made that quite a bit thicker, but otherwise just traced around the top. So the hand shape should be about the same. And I think the doll's hand will fit better. And I cut two pieces from the felt. So I'm going to sew these up and see if they work. And I'll be right back. With the much wider opening, let's see if this version works on the doll. It works. It fits on the doll's hand. I thought it was going to be a little too big, but it's not. Her fingers are right here and her thumb is in the thumb. Kind of looks like an oven mitt, but you know, that's okay. It looks better when you put the cuff of the parka down sort of over it and it kind of hides it. Maybe I should have made it brown though, but it's too late. Now I'm going to make another one. So she has a matching pair and I'll be right back. And here is our other glove. And here are the gloves or mittens on the doll. They do look better tucked up into the sleeve. I don't know, this green color isn't really working for me though. Isn't it giving the Grinch, especially with the fur? For now, it's gonna work because I don't feel like making another pair. But someday if I do make another pair, I will probably make them with the beige felt. But at least now I've got a pattern. And I know I can at least kind of sort of make these. I probably won't keep these on the doll full time. I wouldn't want the color to transfer onto the doll's hand or something like that. I'll probably just have these in case I wanna take photos or something like that. So how about you? Have you ever made gloves or mittens for a Barbie or for any doll at all? Comment down below and let me know. Thank you so much for joining me to make this pair of gloves for Arctic Barbie. So now she will not risk frostbite. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And if you have, thank you very much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.